Ah, uh, greetings from the Fredericktown homestead. Uh, you might wonder what they do on a homestead when the weather gets like this. This is our first day of winter, November 14th, first time we've had the ground turn white. Now you might wonder what I do, what we do. We went out and looked at the pig enclosure. Being November 14th, we gotta start getting ready for, to have our pigs. We, I like to breed my pigs on my birthday, and uh, that way you have spring pigs. But we've only got two weeks left. Um, what we saw was we're gonna need a bunch of very strong boards. Now black oak uh, is strong. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking these offs, as they're called, back here. These are the offs that uh, Seth and Mike, uh, they uh, stuck them up yesterday with stickers and stacked them and stuck them with... Uh, those stickers. Those are used stickers, so they're dry already. Um, now, the reason these are called offs is because they take what they take off in order to make grade wood. Well, I'm taking these offs and turning them into ons, if there is such a thing. I'm taking them and I make uh, these uh, offs into finished grade lumber without defect, pretty much. Well, that one's got a few, but it's still strong enough to be used in a pig pen. And these boards here are all nice, strong boards now. I've taken out what, uh, now the end of this one might be uh, trimmed off. But uh, you look at that, that came out of an off. White oak, no, sorry, black oak, thin oak. Uh, that's actually black oak. We got black oak and pin oak in this pile, and then uh, every once in a while you get a surprise. Um, I can show you one of the surprises. Right here. What kind of wood is that? That's what we call hog hickory. That's what I was told to call it. From somebody that buys lumber standing trees for a living. He says that's called hog hickory. It's not the shag bark hickory, it's the tight bark hickory. And uh, I've written down on the table saw. I've got it set at just over four inches to plane down to four inches. And I cut out all the uh, scrap, all the kindling. It's not really kindling in this case because it's uh, completely full of sap. It's completely full of water. Not very good kindling, but uh, it's the stuff that won't hold up. I'm taking that out and uh, planing up the rest. And meanwhile, the weather outside is storming. We got a glad I'm not driving today. Yeah. I've got to go in and get more boxes to put the kindling in. I filled up everything and I've got the wagon filled with boxes and uh, I need more place to put kindling. Uh, the five quarters getting snowed on but it gets snowed on whether I owned it or not. Would have been up at the mill. Wouldn't have been undercover. But that'll get undercover here 
The big fuss right now is to get the pig pen ready. Get uh, get a place for the pigs. Get them bred, get them here. Two burks, each weighing about 200 pounds or so, 225. And uh, get them here, get them bred, get them in the barn and uh, secure. And uh, then we can go on. We have the project of uh, building the sliding doors waiting on us. That's these boards here that need to be oiled. I'm thinking that all this pig pen board really should be oiled. Uh, even though it's green, it'll still take some oil. That'll uh, limit how quickly the wood rots. And if it, I just think it'd be a good idea. But uh, yeah, things are falling over because we got so much stuff, so much wood, so much wood. Let's get it all stained and uh, maybe I should get it stained, I don't know. I pulled out the two heaters. Uh, yeah. Those are the quartz heaters. They run on next to no electricity and they give you a nice heat. Uh, they heat up the person, not the room. Uh, they work good in a situation like the Quonset Hut as long as you can Focus them right on you, like when you're staining. Uh, they'll heat you up, but they won't heat the quantum hat up very much at all. Yeah. I think I'm going to go in and see if I can find another couple of boxes to put kindling in. Oh, what a storming day. The wood stove's pumping away inside. What are you doing today on the 14th of uh, November? You have a snowy day today? I think most everybody does. Except for those people down in Alabama. But, uh, yeah, winter's arrived. The pig pen's being worked on. The wood to make the pig pens being worked on, and uh, everybody's busy. They, we took a load of uh, shavings out to the little chicks that are in the barn. The red ones will have to go in pretty soon. We're losing our green grass for them to eat. But, uh, we got more shavings here. Yeah, raised beds, pig pens, doors, framework for doors, wood, 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 so much wood, get it all taken care of, never, we got more on the way, I already worked for two more credits towards wood, each credit's worth one scoop of firewood, but we can't get firewood right now, so I'm getting the offs. These uh, five quarter offs. That's a gold mine right there. All right. Pretty day. Pretty day. God bless.